Check out this loser's run from your boy. 2-1 over Grixis. 2-1 over Nakira. 2-0 over Nameless. And then 3-2 over Bibi. That's what? One, two, that's four sets in a row where your boy has clutched it out. So this is going to be, I mean, it's going to be an interesting set for sure as we kick off loser semifinals. Yeah, he's cooking, man. This is uh, good to see because I have seen him kind of come out here and there and, he, you know, you'll kind of see him flash on the results. But this, yeah. is a, this is a pretty strong one. Like, this is like a, not like a lucky day, you know? Like, yeah, he, no. like he, he's beating people who are... Early. Pretty good at this game. Your boy's been coming. Oh, that was obviously shield break, by the way. Uh, your boy's been on the come up for quite a minute, but only recently have we seen him finally start to break through and get some, you know, some big wins, some noble performances. And it's been great to see, man, because he actually plays. Oh wow! Okay, great forward smash read by Xavier. Uh, who is gonna remind everyone that there's another player on the screen that's you as well, and it's him. Yeah, I appreciate seeing Mario uh, on the screen. It's definitely one of those characters that sort of slips under the radar when you talk about good characters in this game, but obviously with, with players like Kurama, I, I should actually just say because of Kurama, I think <laughs> yeah. people are kind of seeing the light a little bit, but uh -huh. character's good. Uh, yeah. Pretty good, it's limited in some, in some aspects, but like if you're creative and you're good at neutral and you know how to, you know, game, you can, yeah. find some, you can find some success with Mario, for Oh, a thousand percent, yeah. I think Xavier is really, like, really good against some of those crazy Mario combos. And also, like, has a really strong sense of neutral, where he is very good at just overall positioning and make sure he's always in the right spot to not get punished too hard or to get punished himself. I mean, looking pretty good right now. Uh, nearly lapped your boy before finally losing that first stock, but still uh, sitting with a comfortable, I, I'm going to call it a comfortable lead. Yeah, but your boy, I mean, contrary to other Sonic players and contrary to popular belief, he actually plays pretty aggressively with Sonic. He goes with pretty hard approaches with the spin dashes. Um, and he, I mean, obviously there will be times where like he's willing to play the defensive game, but you got to respect that. You know, he goes pretty aggro with the Sonic. Yeah, there's a lot of ways you can play Sonic, you know, I mean, everyone is familiar and probably thinking about the campy one, but, like, you can play aggressively. The character's fast and closes in really quickly. Mm -hmm. I think that's, like, your boy's key strength is that he's really good at just closing in the gap and, like, making those sort of walls that you have in neutral just make him go away. He's it's really. Hard, it's hard to zone him out. Yeah, he's, he's making it tough for your boy to kill you, uh, kill him. So. Uh huh. Although slowly but surely, your boy is kind of closing the gap a bit. Yeah. Now. Uh, this way back, piece by piece. Yeah, I would actually not call this even. I mean, uh, you could see your boy fly off the screen at any given moment now. I mean, it really all takes up smash or even any back throw near the ledge. Yeah. Several things. Uh, not of which are that back air, but... Yeah. It's gonna get close, though, so... I mean, you gotta be really careful if you're boy. She has been, so... It is interesting for sure. But, oh, trying to get a big forward smash three there, but... Not quite able to get in. Back is probably not gonna kill, but it's gonna get very close. I, uh... I also agree. I just came back and like I agree with back to and with the, every Sonic that I've uh, played. Your boy is definitely the most aggressive. Yeah. Like I Nick think this has been a pretty long game, but I think it's because Xavier Xavier's playing patient. And yeah, Xavier is a do. very patient player. Um, he plays he matches very optimally, which I mean you got respect. And, uh, your boy is he's willing to play alongside that game, even if he does go aggressive. Um, for the because um, the Nameless had to play him. And I mean, Nameless is kind of aggressive as well, but I think your boy has just more. is a lot aggressive and knows what to, and, and can play defensive as well. Yeah, he's got that mix up. But yeah, this is so far a very solid lead for Xavier, you know. Xavier repping TCNJ. Um, so I gotta show some love, you know. He's like my practice partner, my coach. So gotta get a little bit of biased commentary on the mic. But uh, uh, I'm just gonna rep Stockton because I mean, my oh my, my boys did well. Pokemon Master Nick did well. Nameless did well. Ooh, okay, good for there right there. Yeah, I got, I got. Obviously, I'm gonna be showing love to Xavier, but 
your boy has been playing quite solidly and is keeping this close and competitive, so I can never sleep on any opponent, especially I, someone of your boy's caliber. If Xavier can get, if he can maybe like two, uh, up smash him twice, I think that kill, but yeah, he just Xavier, has to chip. Sonic's really just good at getting chip damage. Yeah, for the most part, Xavier's kills are mainly going to be coming from those back airs and down airs. That's what he likes to do. You will see like an up snap, but up back. it'll mainly Speaking come from back like air. a big call out, you know. Oh, yeah. Shit try just through. There, shit but. just through there. Now I, I don't. I don't get great that decision. It, it's still doable on your boy's end, but yeah, because he's chipped. Now he's off stage. Uh, oh. Yep. Dead. Oh, wow. That's why. That's why. I, that's why I did not agree with the uh, the up smash. I think he should have backed her and just scat for stage control. Yeah, I got you. But I mean, that's gonna be a one elite for your boy. Very, very clutch at the end there. Really good game. That's um. Unfortunately, I think that was my last game. I'm probably gonna go around play friendlies and then I'm gonna have to head home soon. I All gotta, right. I gotta. Thanks for the opportunity as always, Chris. Shots out. All right. Good to get to commentate with you, bro. And, uh, have a good rest of your night. Um, so it's going to be back to myself on comps. I don't know if uh, uh, he's going to be also on comps, too. So, yeah, right now. Um, again, this actually looks like a pretty decent year boy. Been um, solid so far, for sure. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I feel like that was a little bit of a fumble in the last game, but in any case, yeah. your boy is going to continue on his run that he's been on today, and potentially, I, I think the key for your boy here, I mean, we saw such like a back and forth match, literally the last game, yeah. so I feel like if he could just sort of, I think he's just got to press the gas a little sooner, because he sort of yeah. squeaked that one out when I feel like he probably kind of went down early and didn't really have to. Yeah, you want to just like hold down the lead as Sonic. The Sonic with the lead is just like well, yeah, some got terrifying some options, stuff, man. bro. Oh, oh, well, he's not going to get the lead. In fact, that was a really good trade for Xavier. Yeah, big up smash right there using that big noggin on Mario's part to uh, get that KO. But, um, I'll be interested to see if your boy could kind of clean this up before taking too much more percent. I mean, 30 already and counting. Yeah, that's the thing about Mario. Sometimes he can struggle to kill, but if he gets that wow. kill, you already know that that next stock is going to pile on a bunch of damage quick. Good aggressive recovery there. Yeah. I feel like that should not have worked, but kind of caught Xavier sleeping at the wheel a little bit. Oh, Looking to return the favor in a similar fashion, but not going to get it. And this is now looking a little bit like game one where your boy was down and going to be tacking up damage. Out. And before you know it, finds the lead, but we'll see. Yeah. Gonna have to get some more damage before that happens. Yeah. Again, I like how he's using Flood to uh, get that stage control and uh, put some pressure off of him. But your boy, like... And it's crazy, too, because, like, I've played your boy a couple times. I can definitely see there have been some big improvements on his part over the past couple months. Wow! There we including go. Including some big edge guards that he's been getting lately. And yeah, that was... That was really good. Um, I like that your boy has been more committed towards that aggressive play. I think it's really starting to pay off. But yeah, well, nothing Xavier's fancy gonna, there. Yeah, that was just a good, just a good runoff and air, basically. Yeah. Xavier's going to make sure that this is a close game. All right, no blowouts. Um, and he can still take the game. I think he's. I, I think the thing with Xavier right now is really finding him. He's finding a kill. Because uh, at the end of the day, he's playing really great neutral. He's playing a great great set so far, it's just he's not getting that kill. Yeah, it's very hard to take stocks with Mario because of, like, if you're not getting those crazy combos off the top, then, like, it's kind of hard, right? Back air doesn't really kill that early. Um, back air neither. You just kind of keep winning neutral until you, like, eventually find a kill. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, a few more percent, you can kind of start spamming up smash and back airs. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is, yeah, at this point, you really just, all right, good play on the ledge, and we'll see if he's able to fix it or finish it off. And it's not quite. But he is going to get a lot of percentage on, so that is at least a good thing. Um, you got these big timing mix ups on the spin dash from 
Your boy. Yeah, there it is. Wow. I was going to say, to start throwing out some up smashes, and I mean, you're going to catch him. Especially your boy plays pretty aggressively, as you guys were breaking down before. So you catch him just coming in with, a, with an up smash, and sometimes all you need. Yeah, Xavier does really like reading those rolls with up smash because, you know, it leaves you vulnerable, and eventually, yeah, you get that, uh, that big noggin coming through, swinging them. Uh, Mari's head has got to hurt from <laughs> swing like that. I mean, the all guy's the time. breaking blocks, hitting metal blocks, getting coins out of them. Yeah, the guys, I don't know what he's got up there, but bro, bro, he either like has just like the greatest skull known to man, or he just has CTE. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's, it's all mush. Up Maybe there. both. <laughs> But yeah, the power pick is to ta is to a uh, Smashville, um, which I think is pretty good for Sonic, just because um, you have a lot of possibilities for combo extensions with the big platform, and with it being a smaller stage, you're gonna be able to get some earlier kills with like back air. But at the same time, this is a really good Mario stage, so it's kind of tough. So I mean, I do like the power pick, but Xavier is just as capable of taking advantage of this kind of stage. Although I do know that Xavier does, he does like, like PS2 is like his go-to stage. So um, I think he likes having those bigger stages. I mean, it makes sense. The more platforms you have, the better for Mario. I mean, obviously having that one right dead center uh, here is, is very helpful. Uh, pretty much anything that helps you reset your jump to continue spamming up airs, but we haven't really seen much of that so far, we've been seeing quite a few spare hits. Uh, we've been seeing, yeah, I guess mostly spare hits. It's really hard to catch Sonic in any kind of meaningful combo. A lot of yeah, times. especially since Sonic plays very grounded. Oh wow, Bro, just big wind him up. Yeah, got that big punch, and yeah, that's just gonna get that kill. And uh, let's see if your boy can uh, get that lead. I think that cave was supposed to be like a ledge trump. I think so too. Uh, that's like a usually pretty reliable way to trump the ledge with Mario. Yeah, it's a really, I mean, ledge trump back airs are really good. Probably one of the best options any character has. Yeah, ledge trumps are still good in this game. They're not as potent as they've been in the past, but like they're, they're, they're viable. Oh, uh, sure. And they definitely keep the other player on their toes. And I think Mario players especially like using ledge trump back air. Well, yeah, he's got a, Mario in particular just has so many quick options out there. Uh, yeah. So if, if you get them off the ledge and scrambling, you can kind of hit them with it, like several. Yeah. Not going to get the strong hit back here, but. Xavier's been holding the ledge down pretty well. Uh, yeah. Even just, ding, just dinging them with the neutral airs, like, you know, not even just because it's a little bit of damage percent, but it just oh. totally. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Wowie. What was he at? 50 something? Yeah, he's at 57. I mean, he tried pairing it, and it did not. That's go honestly well. that, that's that's huge uh, for your boy, especially with the way yeah. the set's been going, where he's been kind of down, then having to come back, and then wins. Like now, he just got pure lead, like almost a full stock at this point. Like I think mentality is always a, like a very key, important factor to getting wins, but especially like when you're playing Sonic or you're playing against Sonic, where you have these very methodical and drawn out games where even if you're like your boy and you play aggressively, it's still like a lot of these games end up being long. Um, having that good mentality and like getting those big wins can like be a real momentum changer. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. This, this is a, wow. This is a game definitely where momentum oh. is, is a big deal and a lot, a lot of whiffs right there in the center of the stage, but. Xavier is still holding on strong. Not a uh, same, same die yet. Yeah. Nope. Oh, I was expecting a, a back air. Your boy doing a really good job of living. Uh, somehow avoiding a lot of these attacks. Yeah, I mean, he might as well throw it out there. He might pay. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, at this point, you got basically a full stock to lead, uh, to work with, so. Okay. Not as much anymore. But, you know, you got a right. Mario at 107. Mario with Rage, though. I mean, you get a ladder combo. You gotta watch out. Oh, there it is. great two frame. And it's gonna be a 2 1 lead for the boy. Yeah, it's been really, again, really impressive seeing the improvements that your boy has made over the past couple months. Um, I would not imagine that. 
like a couple months ago, I feel like Xavier would have like taken us like a three one kind of thing. But yeah, I mean Xavier, I mean he's also been improving as well. He uh, been, do, been going crazy at some of the South Jersey tournaments. But I think your boy is like really catching up, not just to Xavier, but to the top New Jersey talent in general. So I gotta I tell you, it, it's looking that way, at least from what I've seen out of him today. Like, he's, yeah. he's been playing some really good sets. I've seen him on stream a couple times, and now this set, like, he's just seems overall just solid right now. Yeah, so for anyone in chat sleeping, you got put him on your radar, you know what I mean? So, as you see, but the set's not over yet, so there's still the chance for Xavier to win the next two games and uh, get a big one, but... Nevertheless, we are looking at a pretty solidly even game right now. And, uh, yeah, um, as I mentioned before, Xavier really likes PS2. It's a really good Mario stage, as we saw right there. Wow, <laughs> yeah, and there you go. This is a good Mario I think stage. That was, I think that was the first ladder we've seen the set so far. Yeah, it can be kind of tough to get when your opponent's like Sonic is really good at evading certain things, but... Yeah, I mean, wow. Oh, okay, wow. that was a good kill, push. Bro. Yeah, forcing, forcing your boy's hand a bit and mixing him up now with the cape. He's yeah. really keeping, he's keeping the pressure on. Xavier honestly, kind of dominating right now. Yeah. Wow. yeah, as long as you're keeping the pressure on, like, like that's kind of what you got to do, especially against someone so fast as Sonic. Yeah. And here we go. I mean, Xavier. I mean, has really responded with force um, in this game for situation. And, uh, your boy doing a good job of trying to bring it back, but. We just gotta wait and see if it's too little, too late, or if this is what your boy needs. But Xavier, I mean, he's gonna continue to play pretty defensively for the most part. Um, Cause he has the leverage, right? He's got a big lead. He got a lot of neutral tools with Mario. You don't have to like go super aggro in approach. So I like the fact that Xavier's just keeping it chill. I will say one thing though uh, about as far as chilling goes, cause we have seen Xavier kind of lose a couple decent leads uh, a couple times in the set already so i bet yeah. you like if i'm xavier i'm kind of keeping that in mind because it does look like he is trying to sort of not let that happen again yeah so as much as like you have the room to kind of relax i don't think you want to against sonic i i'd say if you're xavier you just want to get out of this game as quick as possible yeah because right now i mean he's got a three stock lead but i mean we've seen three stock leads disappear in this game um, I mean, it happens for sure. I, I think a lot's gonna have to happen, but that's a right. That's a start right there. That's a start, man. So, I mean, anything again, anything's possible. So, I mean, your boy's gonna do what he can to just not panic and just try to bring this back to potentially get a three-one win. But I mean, right now, he's even kind of putting the pressure on. Yeah, and he's got to keep it on. It looks like he's sort of has cooled off a little bit with this last stock since he's... Oh, 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 oh wow. Almost. Okay. I respect it. He's got to make that recovery back, and he's going to be back in this game. Uh, yeah, this is still a very solid lead for Xavier. Okay. And yeah, your boy... He's playing, he's playing the long game, as in he's literally like using the long stage to get these massive spin dashes, which I, I like the idea, but for this game, I don't know if it's too little too late, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, I, if, I were, if I'm Xavier right now, I mean, I'm not the one in, in loser semis, but like oh. I'm kind of just spamming, I'm spamming up smash a little bit. Hold on, though. This is last stock all of a sudden. Yeah, this this is what this set's kind of been. Like, you'll see Xavier go up, and then your boy just sort of slowly but surely gets himself, gets himself back in the game. Oh, that's it, though. Oh, it's not. Not quite. I lied. Not quite, and honestly... Honestly? Xavier's got to sort of sweat now. He's, he's got to close this out. Yeah, you got to close this. Oh, no. Wait, he has no jump. Oh, Wait, is that it? My oh, my God. No. That, not like that. Well, unfortunate way. Sometimes the gods, out. the Smash gods, just smile upon you. And, and yeah. It works out. It looks like it's just, it just, honestly, just looks like it's your boy's day. Today is just kind of your boy's day. And I, I think uh, it's just, it's that, that sort of vibe right now. So, it's just yeah. your boy making it happen, man. That was. 
probably two big comebacks. Yeah, that was that was huge. I mean, he was down. Well, he was yeah. down like two full stocks. I basically. got I got show respect, man. I got show respect. Your boy's really been on that come up, and uh, I mean, yeah, he's, was... he's been making this big run, and uh, that was that was good.